Hi guys, welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to do something pretty fun. Today we're going to create a pop-up screen right? when you go to uh, delete something, let's say in your database, you don't want it just to be gone forever, right? You want that option to say, hey, are you sure you meant to click this? Because traditionally, once data is gone, you can't recover it. So this is kind of like a fail safe to make sure that when you go to delete something, your user really wants to delete that item and it wasn't a mistaken click. All right, so let's take a look at make.powerapps.com and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and we're back in that park inspection app I showed you guys last week. Um, and what we're going to do is with the delete button right now, currently, if I click on the icon, it removes it removes from the inspection that item, right? Traditional delete button right down here, it does what we expect it to do. But if I want to make sure that when somebody clicks this button, it doesn't automatically delete this record, I want to create a pop-up screen that verifies, hey, you want to delete this record. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use local variables. And to start, we're gonna click somewhere in the background of your screen. And we're gonna go to the on visible property. Currently it's set to true, but we're gonna create a local variable. The way we're gonna do that, let me zoom in here, is we're going to use update context. So update context is going to give us a local variable and we're going to name this variable var show pop up. Okay. Using update context, you have to use a curly brace in front of your variable name. You use a colon to state what the variable is going to be equal to. And in this case, we're going to set this to false. So what that's going to do is it's going to update the context. And when we come to the screen, var show pop up is going to be false, meaning it's not going to be visible on the screen. All right, we'll close that out. Let me zoom out. All right, so we have our update context perfect. All right, so what we're going to do now is on this button, on this delete button down here, make sure you're in the template cell, which is the first cell of that gallery of whatever uh, your delete button is. And so we're going to kill this code. So we don't want it to remove this item. What we want is when we click this and make sure you're on the on select property of the icon. And what we're going to do now, let me zoom in here, is we're going to update our context again, var show pop up, and we're going to say this is true. So when they click the delete button, my variable var show pop up becomes visible on the screen. All right. So just to verify, when we click our button, var show pop up will be equal to true. So now let's create our pop up screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a label. All right, and we want to make this label pretty big. And you want to be able to see it against your screen. So you want to change the color to something that kind of takes up the screen. All right. So let's get our text a little bit bigger. And say, are you sure you want to delete this record? And make that a little bit bigger. Let's say 28. It's like a little bit bigger and center it all right so are you sure you want to delete this record you put whatever message you want i'm going to use white text i like that a little bit better and then there's a couple things that we also need to do so 
over here on the left, it's called label two. We want to go ahead and rename this. So right click, rename, or you could just double click into where it says label. And we're going to call this pop up screen. Just so in a minute, you'll see why it's important to label your pieces of your pop up screen. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to insert an icon. So we're going to insert a cancel icon. And so with this cancel icon, basically right now our variable var show pop up is set to true when we click the delete button. So all of this will pop up. When I click this X, if I don't really want to delete that record, I want to reset the var show pop up to false. Okay, so I'm going to click the. So what I can do actually is on my initial on visible for the background, I can just actually copy this so control C and paste it right there on the button. So basically this resets it back to where this whole pop up screen will disappear when we click the X icon. All right, and then the last thing we need to do is insert a button. Let me go ahead and rename this icon. Very important. We'll call this uh, pop up cancel. Okay, perfect. All right, and then I'll rename my button to um, pop up. Perfect. All right, so I got my button. And so with my button now selected, we'll change the name to confirm delete. Perfect. All right. So for our for our um, code at the top on our button, currently it's set to false on select property. So we want to do a few things. Okay. The first thing we want to do when this is selected is remove the item. So remove from the inspection table. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. So we have to reference the gallery that this came from. So whatever item I select in this gallery down here, which is gallery two, I want to remove. And so up here, we're going to use the gallery two. That's what we're going to reference. So we're going to say remove from the inspection gallery two dot selected. So whatever I select in gallery two, I want you to remove. That's the first piece on our button. So right now, when we click this button, the record will be removed. We're going to use shift enter to go to the next line. And after every line, you want to use a semicolon. Semicolon says do this first and then do the next thing. Make this a little bit bigger. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do, so we've deleted our record. So we want to now update our context so that our pop-up screen disappears. So when we click this button, we want to set our var show pop-up back to false. All right, so now the record was deleted, our pop-up disappears, and then we also want to let our users know that they've de successfully deleted the record. So now we're going to use the notify command. Notify, and double quotes is a literal string, so whatever you type in here is going to uh, be displayed. So I'm going to say your, no, I'll say, uh, record has been right in there just for good measure. And I made that a capital lowercase. All right. And then after your notify command, you have a several options. So if you hit the comma, notice that notification types. So an error is going to produce a red bar across the top. Information is blue and success is green. So I'm going to use the notification type success. 
and it's going to give me a green bar across the top. All right, we just have a couple more things that we need to do before we can make this work. So notice that we have these three items over here on the left relating to our pop up. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to group these three items together and then set that group equal to the variable bar show pop up. All right, so to do that, what we're going to do is you're going to select your piece or select the, the item that you created for your pop up. And you can hold your shift button down and select the three items. You can right click. And click group. This creates a group with all of your items inside of it. I'm going to call this my pop up. So <clears throat> with your pop up. OK, now that we have created this group, the only thing we have to do is set the visible property. Instead of true, we're going to set it to our variable show pop up. All right, and now we can give this a test drive and see if it works. All right, so I'm going to cl click the play button in the upper right hand corner. All right, and I'm going to click my delete icon. My pop up shows up. That's good. All right, let's test the cancel button. That's good too. All right, let's choose a different record. Let's go to a different park. Choose a delete. All right, let's see if we can delete it. Confirm delete. And notice at the very top green bar, your record has been deleted. Perfect. So everything's working good. Awesome. So this is a real awesome feature that you guys can use to create a pop up screen and obviously you can use this for whatever you want to confirm deletions to say to pull up additional information about something so you can have an informational icon they click on that the pop up shows up and shows additional information about that particular item. So there's a lot of use cases for this. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.